No single product says Canada quite like maple syrup. But however pure, however natural, when they come to sell this to Europe, they must pay a whopping 8% import tax. But that's about to change. Under a new comprehensive trade agreement, anything produced or grown in Canada will soon be sold into the EU single market tax-free. It'll be a massive boost to this cooperative and all Canadian exporters. We're still Canadian, so I mean, we remain Canadian producers. But uh, we have... Uh, but in terms of your market access, yeah, you'll yeah, be yeah. as if you're a European yeah. producer. Yeah, it's like being neighbours, you know, and uh, definitely. And crucially, their big industries have won this access without Canada having to contribute to the EU budget or agree to free movement of workers. So is this a model for the UK? Wouldn't it give us almost everything we have now? Well, their politicians have a warning. For Canada, this is not, though, like being a part of the European single market in the way that the UK is, is it? Uh, no, not, no. Uh, that's definitely not the case. Uh, it's, a, it's a comprehensive trade agreement that singles out specific kinds of industries. Um, who knows down the road if, if in fact, uh, it, it might be a stepping stone uh, 15 or 20 years down the road. So however European this corner of Quebec already looks, even the French Canadians are realistic about the difference between a free trade agreement and membership of a single market as currently enjoyed by those countries actually in Europe. Some of these streets look as if they could come from any city in France, but however European this corner of Quebec feels, when it comes to buying and selling goods across the Atlantic, this is very definitely abroad. Now, the new trade deal will change that significantly, but even the most enthusiastic Canadians recognise that it is nothing like being a full member of the single market, and even getting this far took a punishingly long time. And it has still not been ratified in Canada or Europe. Financial services are barely touched by the deal, less of a problem for the Canadians than it would be for the British. And for Canadian car makers and others, the big upside of market access comes with the downside of having neither say nor come back on European regulations. We're subject to that. Uh, Without having any say in how those regulations are Absolutely are not. Just uh, maybe complaining about it in a committee and, and hoping we're heard and hoping the people can get together and solve it. Uh, so uh, agreements of free trade differ from uh, the type of union that exists in Europe. One reason these trade deals take so long to put in place is that they produce losers as well as winners. The cheesemakers of Eastern Canada have always suffered from European competition. We already have big competition from France. Most cheese farmers, cheese producers, I, I'm pretty sure they're not welcoming this uh, as a great thing. Indeed, those who keep the goats that make the goat's cheese have fought the EU-Canada deal tooth and nail. Starting again from scratch in any trading relationship is rarely plain sailing. Good as this is for Canadian exports, they'll remind you that their big partners are the United States. Trade with Europe is great, but unlike the UK, for them, it has never been make or break. James Mates, News at 10, Canada.